Okay, this is uh, a lesson that I gave in Wiz IQ where I started. It's about um, a lesson called uh, London Calling and recommending, suggesting and voca vocabulary for activities. And I used a video of Notting Hill Carnival to talk about something to do in London. Um, but the video doesn't show up on here. It did actually show up while I was doing the class. But I'll... Uh, I'll just whiz it on a little bit because I, I use it as a, a sort of um, an intro scene setter for the students. <laughs> you can hear the bass going there. It's actually quite a good video by a guy who lives in London as he's walking around Notting Hill. Let's whiz it on. And back. And today, let's do the boom. Okay. So there we go. I think you might get the idea. The lesson's called London Calling, and we're going to. By the end of the lesson, you guys are going to be able to ask people uh, their recommendations for things to do in London. And these are my instructions here. But then we'll go through to the lesson plan. And now we're in the lesson. Ba -ba -ba. Hold on, Nadia. All of this, um, everything in this lesson is recorded, so you'll be able to see it all again and see the links. Okay. Um, okay. So look at exercise there, number one, London calling. So what I want to ask you guys is imagine that you and your friends are going to London for the weekend and you need to organize some activities. Okay. So Yeah, things you could do in London. Anyone? There's a few people typing. Madam to sorts, yeah. Thanks, Nadia. The Glove Theatre, golly, I've not heard of that one. Is that like gloves? Yeah. Okay, that's something to do. Anyone else? Roro's typing. Lawrence Modern Sign. Passion for London. Calling all fashionistas. This is the perfect weekend for you, and a, and perhaps a pal or two. High spirits. Scare yourself silly with a weekend full of haunted hotels, dreadful dungeons, twilight tours, and ghostly gastropubs. Lounge Lizard, the epitome of charm and sophistication. Our bar and lounge lizard knows how to do London in style. Big Kids, beat the kid within. From magical entertainment and thrill rides to a school disco, you certainly won't be bored. So, if we look at all of those, it means it's confusing. We're spoiled for ch anyone else. Do you use things like Orkut or MySpace or Facebook? Yeah. Okay. So so people seem to do things like that. That's okay, Nadia. Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, the whole point of, of out there, English out there, is that you look at some language with me and I talk about it with you and guide you. Jen, she uses Orca, great. And now, when you leave my classroom, you're going to, what I want you to do is, I, is you, can, you can print this off. 
okay or you can look at it again online on, on WizIQ and you can go over the language again but what I want you to do when we're finished is I want you to use your English speaking friends on social networks that you're on for example I'm on Facebook and you will ask them some questions okay so English out there is about it's about getting comfortable with some language and then going away online using it with your friends your English speaking friends on Facebook or Skype or Orkut and recording the conversation and then sending your best conversation to me who wants to ask me one of these questions on here who wants to ask me one of these questions that you're going to ask your practice partner who's first Anyone? Okay, Rora. You got the mic. Okay, go for it. Sorry, I didn't understand. Can you say that again? No, no, no. Okay, just just pick one of these questions and ask it to me as if you're you 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 you're just meeting me. south of England and um, in, Saudi Arabia. in Saudi Arabia okay so what 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 do you what would you suggest a group of girls would do should do in your town or city one or two questions and then go and talk to someone else well done well done Thanks for that. Okay, I'll take the micro microphone away from you. Thank you for taking part in this class. You've done really well. And make sure make sure you do your homework. Okay, and use. You can go to our. Facebook page or become a member a fan of our Facebook page or become a member of Facebook and we're going to be creating a, a community or a place where you can practice and you know there's a whole world out there of people who want to meet you and speak English and are happy to talk to you for free and what you can do is you can come to my class and you can self-study as well so thank you Nadia thank you if when you've done your practice send me the the audio file and um, and we'll have another class okay and I'll schedule one I'll schedule one so I do one for next week same time next week away till the next time.